Welcome to Theory of Computation class. In this session, I am going to discuss the problems available in regular expression to finite automata and its vice versa concepts. So here, uh, we already discussed the uh, top layer in the first unit. That means the finite automata concept. So there are basically two uh, types of finite automata is available. One is DFA and another one is NFA. And uh, these three problems are already discussed. If an NFA contains uh, epsilon symbol in it, that eps uh, NFA is called as epsilon NFA. And the problem is available. We already know the conversion of NFA to DFA and epsilon NFA to NFA, epsilon NFA to DFA. So in the second unit portion, if they give the regular expression, we can able to convert it to an epsilon NFA and the second problem may be if they give the DFA portion, we can able to convert it as a regular expression directly or the above uh, graph is connected with the bottom up portion. So if the question may be asked like this, that is convert the regular expression into NFA, then you can able to convert regular expression into epsilon NFA and by using the previous unit uh, method, we can able to convert epsilon NFA to NFA. Okay. And if they give the NFA and they, if they are need to uh, convert it to a regular expression, first you convert that NFA into DFA. Then from the DFA to regular expression, there are three methods are available. So I will... Uh, give the explanation for three methods in the later class. So in this class, I give the instruction about the conversion of regular expression to epsilon NFA. So this is the first method I discuss in this session. In the later session, I give the explanation for DFA to regular expression. Okay, then what is the problem? or a methodology for conversion of regular expression into epsilon NFA. So the problem is it is possible to convert the given regular expression into a finite automata. That means directly you can able to convert regular expression into epsilon NFA. Then by applying the previous unit method, we can able to convert epsilon NFA to NFA. Otherwise, the theorem says that every language defined by regular expression is also be able to defined by finite automata. So, how it's possible? We can prove this theorem. So, we should prove that if the regular expression is available, that means it will be represented as L of E, then that can also satisfy L in NFA. So, this is the expression. So, how can you prove it? This will be proved by induction methodology. Induction method is one of the type of uh, proof method which, is, uh, which was already discussed in first unit. That is induction proof contains four methodology. Integer induction, general form of integer induction, structural induction and mutual induction. So, these induction method, this all four types of induction methods can be solved in two step. The first step is basis step and the next step is called as induction step. Basis step contains only initial value in it. So, if you prove the initial value, you can solve it as a basis step. Then induction step is solved as if S of N then S of n plus 1. We should prove like that. So, if you take the basis step, so here it is a basis step. So, basis step means we should draw epsilon NFA. So, epsilon NFA contains set of states in it. So, what is the proof means? If a regular expression contains only one symbol, so you check the symbol. <coughs> that symbol may be epsilon or that symbol may be pi. Pi means null set or it contains only one alphabet symbol means you can able to draw epsilon NFA directly for the given regular expression. So if the symbol is only epsilon, that means here R represent regular expression. So R equal to epsilon means you only draw state. There is no 
self loop or there is no out path from q0 this is only the one state and this state is also the final state this is for r equal to epsilon if r equal to pi means there is no path from one state to another state if two states are available there is no path that is the r answer for r is equal to pi and if a regular expression contains one symbol for one symbol we should draw two state q0 to q1 then you you should mention that symbol as a path value so this is the basis step and induction step so if you go for a regular expression regular expression contains three symbols in it one is star symbol another one is dot symbol and the third one is r symbol so r may be represented as slash or plus so here what is the meaning of this regular expression means that regular expression contain a symbol r otherwise a symbol s yes. so first you uh, you can able to draw the diagram for r equal to r it's like the previous one the basis step third method so you draw two state and the intermediate value will be represented as r so you draw it directly so i put the state number 1 so from 1 to 2 i draw r separately and for s you draw the separate node so 3 to 4 with the symbol s then what is the relationship between the symbol r r s it is an r operation what is the meaning of that one either the regular expression goes to r symbol otherwise s symbol so there may be two paths from the starting state with epsilon flow so either r it may be concatenate with epsilon the answer is also r so i concatenate epsilon with r otherwise epsilon with s then the output final state should be goes to the end state 5 with a path there is no symbol in the path so i put epsilon here so this is the answer for plus concatenate means after r a symbol is there so there are two symbols so there is a need of three states and you draw one path with the symbol r followed by s path what is the expansion of r star the string may be epsilon r one time r r two time r r three time r like that infinite times it will go so first if any r star is given you put four nodes 0 1 2 3 so this is the last node i draw it as with a double circle okay then if you want to draw epsilon you directly go to starting state with ending state epsilon symbol so 0 to 3 with epsilon flow so i draw it separately if it is 1 r so i put at the separate node 1 to 2 with the symbol r but the starting node is 0 and the final node is 3 so i want to uh, flow from 0 to 3 through the intermediate states 1 and 2 so i draw the direct path from 0 to 1 and also from 2 to 3 with the transition symbol as epsilon so this is one time r if r should occur three time means after visiting first r the state will go to second state the path will go to second state from the second state you should uh, again come to one state so i draw the path from 2 to 1 with the symbol epsilon so this is the methodology for simple regular expression here um, i give the problem so i will give the explanations for the problem so construct epsilon nfa for the regular expression r e equal to 0 1 so how can we draw it there are two symbols it's nothing but 0 dot 1 so we already know the concatenation so if it is a first state the first symbol is 0 it goes to 1 concatenation means the second symbol will be written like this so this is the answer for r e equal to 0 1 suppose if the given regular expression is written like this 0 1 r 1 0 so first you should take it as r1 it is r2 
So I draw the diagram for R1. It is 0, 1. And for R2, the next number I draw here, 3 to 4, 1, 4 to 5 with 0. So what is the meaning? RE is nothing but R1, R, R2. So what is the R meaning? The generalized form for R is either the starting state goes to top uh, node or bottom node. Here it is R1. The bottom one is R2. Then the output will be combined here. Okay. Then what is the path value? The empty path will be represented as epsilon. So instead of R1, I draw these three states. So first I draw the R1 value at top layer with 0, 1. Then R2 at bottom layer with 1, 0. Then this will be combined with the starting state and final state. You put epsilon here. Okay. Then the number is, you continue the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and I give the explanation for the third problem. The third problem is 0 R 0 plus 1 whole star. So you take it is R1 0 plus 1 is R2 and R3 is nothing but R2 star. So, for, for the uh, inner value of square bracket, I will take it as R2 and the square bracket whole star will be taken as R3. So, I should uh, draw it for three expressions. For R1, the state is like this. For R2, 0, R1. So, this will be like this. So, the symbol is 0, R1. The remaining values are epsilon. So R3 is R2 star. So the whole thing is star. What is the meaning for star? Star means you should put four node, first node to last node with epsilon, first to second with epsilon, second to third, that is third to fourth is epsilon, from three to four is also epsilon. And it's nothing but R2. R2 is this node. Then, how can you combine it? The R1 value dot R3 value is combined. So, I draw the final epsilon NFA diagram here. So, the first diagram is R1. So, R1 value is 0. And R3 value, so that R3 value is the ending state of R1 is the starting state of R3. So, this uh, circle is already available here. So, I draw only the remaining nodes. So, this is 1. So, 1 to 4 with epsilon, 1 to 2 with epsilon, 3 to 4 with epsilon, then 3 to 2 with epsilon. The remaining symbol is like this. So, here it is the second node. So, R2 first node is your R3 second node. R2 last node is your R3 third node. So, I draw only the remaining part. So, this is 0. This is 1. And the flow may be epsilon. Here it is also epsilon. 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 So, this is the answer for 0 into 0 plus 1 whole star. And then fourth problem A plus B whole star A B B. So first R1 I considered as A plus B. R2 means R1 star. R3 means A B B. Then R4 that means final regular expression is nothing but R2 dot R3. So what is the A plus B symbol? So either A R, B, then this will be combined with single state. 
so I draw separately R1 star means star 1 star means it contains 4 nodes so this is the diagram with all uh, path as epsilon and from 2 to 3 it is R1 R1 star ABB you know the diagram for this one it is concatenation operation so for 3 symbols you should use 4 nodes then combination of R2 and R3 so I draw the final uh, notation so first R2 value R2 means so this is 4 nodes are there 1 2 3 4 so the first notation is like this this is the answer for R2 value R2 it contains whole star so the intermediate value is either A or B the outflow is with epsilon so this is the answer for A or B whole star then followed by A B B this is the final state then you put the number either from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 3 like that ok so this is the uh, conversion of regular expression to NFA the remaining uh, portion will be discussed in next class. Thank you.